Hi, this is Adam Fans from Bayes Mountain Planetarium in Kingsport, Tennessee. And we're going to be learning about an interesting little uh, facet of astronomy, and that is about flashlights. That's right, not just regular flashlights that shine white light, but flashlights that shine red light, as you can see here. And why is this important? Well, flashlights uh, with red light are important for night vision, to actually preserve your night vision. When you want to look at notes, take notes, read a star chart at night, if you use a white light, it's going to ruin your night vision. And what's happening is that your eye has uh, two different areas that perceive light. One is the cones, which are uh, designed to be a higher resolution, but also perceive uh, color. And then a lower resolution version of rods, and they only perceive black and white, grayscale. But those rods don't lose their ability to perceive low levels of light. And it's actually uh, related to an, uh, something else called rhodopsin, which is a chemical that is developed in your eyes. So after a couple of minutes, maybe five to ten total minutes of being in the dark, your eye is developing this rhodopsin, which allows you to see really faint objects and faint things. So you probably noticed um, when, like, let's say you get up in the middle of the night, you're able to walk around your bedroom because you can see because your eye has developed that rhodopsin. But you may not have been able to see it once you, you know, first turn off the lights in your bedroom when you go to bed. And so the red light does not ruin the rhodopsin that has developed for your night vision. White light will. And that's why a red flashlight is very important. There's many ways of being able to have a red flashlight. One is uh, one that's now, you know, what's popular and common now is an LED emitter. And the emitter is actually red as opposed to a white emitter. And you can get flashlights like that. Uh, and they're not that expensive at all. If you're handy with electronics and basic electronics and soldering, you can make your own actually, and uh, you just have to buy the parts. Um, the other is a regular flashlight, but you put a red filter on top of it. Uh, a common red filter that you can find, though it's kind of fragile, is that red cellophane that you see around um, val Valentine's gifts. The candy boxes that have the red cellophane, you can use that and put it on your flashlight. But you also don't want a really bright red flashlight either because that doesn't do as well. You actually want a pretty dim uh, amount of red light or to dim it you can put something like uh, tissue paper or even regular paper over a red flashlight if it's too bright it'll diffuse the light just like this does I actually have a little piece of paper in there because the bright the light was too bright and it also diffuses it so there's not a real strong hot spot as to where it projects and makes it much easier to use for night viewing so something simple and basic a red flashlight to, to preserve your night vision when you want to get out and observe the night sky, or let's say you're a naturalist and want to look for owls or something. Use a red flashlight so it'll preserve your night vision. Thank you.